fine dining, tasting course Chinese food. Just a, a little nod to the neighborhood. Do you know how to use chopsticks? I worked fine dining. I'm looking at art right now. Chinese milk bread? I prefer my milk bread from a Chinese mother. Yeah. Yeah, I'll think of something. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> This little guy? Yeah, what is it? That is Asian pear sweet and sour sauce. Ah, oh, nice! So what's this walk around? This is, this is duck. Oh, yeah, duck's duck. way more common. Yeah, because yeah. I want to say like, it smells like Christmas or something. Like there's a nice holiday smell I'm getting. Oh, it smells like almost like a, like a mincemeat, uh, like a butter tart. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A butter tart mincemeat pie combo. Yeah. Jesus. We should probably get the knuckle tattoo story. So uh, this dish came about because the guy who designed this place, uh, his name is John Shields. First time I met him, he told me as soon as he retired, he was going to get knuckle tattoos that said foie gras. Genius. We uh, went to Etsy, got a knuckle tattoo plate made that said foie gras, and uh, served this to him when he came in with his wife. Oh my god. And that's, he that's loved a, it, and mm. everybody else loved it, so now it stays. Amazing. Knuckle tattoo foie gras. That is the type of service you can expect at Ugly Duckling. They'll buy things from Etsy, specifically <laughs> catered to your dreams. <laughs> and I can't wait to dig in. Let's do it. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. I'm gonna walk you try for <laughs> Didn't need that bit. You're one naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the single best thing we've had on this show. You think? Yeah. Sorry everybody. <laughs> But like, come to Ugly Duckling, get it, and tell me that I'm wrong. Holy crap. Yeah. I just melt as soon as you yeah. put it in your mouth. Smoky, sweet, spicy, buttery, the t texture is incredible. The duck comes through, you know, the duck flavor, which is one yeah. of your favorites. Yeah. A foie gras breakfast sandwich, that'd be crazy. That would be crazy. On this bread, with oh like my a God. runny yolk egg. Yeah. Oh. Ungodly combination of things. <laughs> Uh, you could call it the heart stopper. <laughs> you guys want to come get foie gras knuckle tats with me after this? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, do you have any more room left on your knuckles? <laughs> no, my knuckles. Actually, you know what? I can get you can get a second knuckle, knuckle, yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys better come eat this too. This is maybe the best thing you can eat, Victoria. Not fooling. I'm not fooling! Two dudes. Two dudes out of two dudes. I'll give it 100%. First foie gras? Mm. Ah! Mm. <laughs> Start. What is this? Mm. I don't know what it is, but what is this? This is like, <laughs> this is magical. <laughs> so I'm like, you're not what? listening? I was listening. <laughs> it's a flavor I've never had before. Sweet. That's what we aim for. Well, yeah, you, you feel it. Yeah. He's only inventing flavors here. Taylor, what's uh, what's the initial read on Wagra? I don't know. I'm just really loving it. Okay. I like the way it feels, and I like the way that it tastes. It's got good texture. It's a great mouthfeel. Yeah. I'll say that. I'm a big Very, texture guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guy? Nice. Can you tell us about me? What's that about? I'm not. I'm not saying that. Dangerous waters, you two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, this walk about is amazing. I've, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> just the texture, it's very much like. I've had deep fried tofu before, you know, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. pillowy, very soft. This is like on steroids, fatty, mm. just like the Wagyu of duck almost. Kind of literally, yeah. What's this stuff on top? Mm. Uh, Asian pear, sweet and sour. Jeez. Charlie, what are the five spices? I only know Togarashi, it's Japanese. <laughs> See, it's Mild, right. medium, medium hot, buffalo, super hot. <laughs> <laughs> so good, oh my God, that was That's good. That's so funny. funny. Thank yeah, you. Thank you so much. I'm nervous for how good this halibut's going to be. I feel like it's going to be a big letdown now. No, I don't think so. So this is a carrot and... Carrot, star anise, and sesame. Carrot trilogy. More carrots. These are just glazed with some fish sauce and honey. Yeah. Looking at a painting again. <laughs> incredible! Holy smokes. 
Have you ever had anybody go down uh, on that little slope? Uh, with a bunch of plates in their hands? Not what I thought you were asking me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> how about from here, in season, now? And you were like, we have to have it. Look at that. Dude. Dude. Apart. Simple, delicious, buttery, <clears throat> soft, velvety, silky mouthfeel. The fatty flavors, I really like fat as a flavor. It's really coming through a lot. Super tasty. Not fishy. Hey. Nice. So delicious. That's so good. Yeah, with the carrots, really nice. There's some sort of saltiness, sweetness happening there. Mm. The puree is great as well, too. Yeah. A little star anise in there, you said? Yeah. Hell yeah. Ooh. You getting that, Keith? No. This guy's got it. <laughs> I'm just this guy's got it in advance. Ow. <laughs> what a legend. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. That's crazy. Which might be better than the foie gras. The halibut's gummy thick. You think it's better than the foie? I don't know. This is pretty good. I like the pickled carrot, like it's like a little acidic, so it's a nice balance. Yeah, you that. need that. Yeah. You need that, like, Cleanser. something to wipe you clean. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, from the butter. But it's so delicious, man. Holy shit. Pete, mm. what are you going to give it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you got to give it three carrots out of two dudes. I'll give it three carrots out of two dudes. The carrot trilogy. Figure your life out and come down to us. I don't care if it's your grandma's birthday. I don't care if it's your cousin's funeral. Get to Ugly Ducklings. Get the tasty menu. Have a little bit of wine pairing. ASAP. Two little fat baby ducks out of two. Mmm. Kevin, any more thoughts? Closing mm. thoughts? Uh, no. Well, it just was kind of, these herbs kind of taste minty, but it's okay. not really related to anything. Marigold flower greens. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they do. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice too. Yeah. It's got, what a perfect, well rounded dish. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Chef. Thanks, dudes. Keith literally guessed exactly what this was, right? Yeah. Give us the rundown of this. <laughs> well, I didn't see what was going on really, but I just guessed it was a house made mango sorbet. With, is this baby basil on top too again? No, just a little baby melon green. Ah, uh, melon green. Which actually does taste like melon. That's so cool. That's a perfect That's so pairing for. Yeah. Sort of yeah, fed you guys a lot of fat, so hopefully this uh, wakes you back it up. It tastes just like exactly like mangoes. Oh yeah, that's a perfect little silky mouthfeel. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, a perfect little palate cleanser. Is there dairy in this? It's the most beautiful. Little Negative. Thing. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't taste like it. All. Dairy free, gluten free. Okay, let me try this melon. <laughs> yeah, better better get in on it. It totally tastes like honeydew. Hey. With this, do you change the flavors? Do you switch it up? We do, yeah. Mm. It was lychee last month. Oh, that'd be a good Today it's too. mango. Mm. Maybe it'll be rhubarb soon. Oh, oh. Little We just can't tell. <laughs> two duck legs out of two duck legs. Coolest plate in town, too. Thank you. <laughs> oh. That was so delicious. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Anything else about the food? I'm stuffed to the brim, actually. Oh, I'm a happy camper. Oh my god. I feel spoiled. Now is the time. You guys enjoy. Say cut. Cut. We're sitting down because we didn't do the interview <laughs> at the beginning. We're doing the interview now. Now, chef, fucking food's amazing. I'm looking around the restaurant, and I don't see a bar. Explain yourself. So every three months, we work with a different local bartender to come up with the list. That's and then we make everything in advance with some really cool techniques. We got milk punches going on. We've got, you know, we're gonna be doing punch. some barrel okay. aged stuff, just like these cool multi-day processes. Then it all goes into kegs and mm -hmm. it's on top and it comes right out of the kitchen. Woo. A lot of people see pre-batch cocktails and they think it's not gonna be as good. I just wanna tell everyone that you're an idiot and that's not true. They're gonna be at least as delicious, maybe even more. Milk punch is something really special. If you see that anywhere, you're gonna wanna try it. Yeah, well, yeah. We love you, idiots. Like, <laughs> what would you say to somebody that's like a little like uninterested in a draft, in a pre-batch draft cocktail? I mean, I kind of get it. Like, mm -hmm. it brings to mind like grenadine and, mm -hmm. and bar lime and stuff like that. I think the only reason it hasn't been common was because it wasn't really legal before COVID. So, mm, okay, maybe something cool to come out of that. Yeah, yeah. You guys remember COVID, right? Quick refresher. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. I thought somebody was going to laugh. 
<laughs> were, you, were you always drawn to like uh, Chinese cuisine, or was it something you kind of recently discovered? No, the location came before the Chinese influence. Oh, okay, but I was, cool. I've always been around food that's like of a place, yeah. celebrates a place, wouldn't really make sense anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And then when this location popped up, it was like, this is too special a neighborhood, too yeah. significant building to not find a way to show a little love to that oh, alongside. It's an awesome space inside here, just gorgeous Thanks. as well. Nobody's like, really hitting this market either. I can't think of any other fine dining Chinese places that I've heard of. Yeah, I think I think taking this plunge had a lot to do with just wanting this to exist, and mm. the, this was the only way to make that happen. Yeah, <laughs> make the restaurant you want to eat at. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then you can never eat there, which is great. <laughs> is it just you running the show, kind of? I mean, obviously, there's a bunch of you, but you're kind of yeah, spearheading I, I, it. I'm, yeah, I guess I'm in charge of every aspect of it. Are you big angry chef back there screaming and I can't see throwing yeah, around? Everybody hates working there. <laughs> Corbin's oh, little PTSD factory back there. <laughs> We've all worked with that person. Tag him. <laughs> now's, your, now's your chance. Expose that person. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Holy crap. Appreciate it. Awesome. Time to get a drink, dude. This was episode whatever it was. Hey, Ugly Duck Dinam Doo Doo's Foods, dude. Can you do that again? You weren't on the mic. No, I think I got it. Got me. I wasn't ready to do it. Some people consider foie unethical. Yeah. And then you were like, unethical? The ducks are fucking lining up for that, man. <laughs> They're like in a row, like getting f food piped down their throats. Solid, they can't wait to get shit. it. They're all waiting their turn impatiently. Yeah. <laughs>